Here we are, just a quick walk up Great Mel Fell this time. Not a brilliant day or anything, it's just, just walking the dog to be quite honest. But uh, I've never been here before, so we'll see how we go on. Uh, apparently there's a Bronze Age uh, barrow at the top of it, so it might be something interesting, but I'm not expecting it to be brilliant or anything, just to walk with the dog. So we'll catch you along the route. Um, yeah, so let's see you shortly. Hello again. So I'm reliably informed that this isn't the way up, um, this style here. It's the first one you come to. It's got a National Trust sign there saying Mel Fell, but it's just a walk or just a path that goes around the fell. So avoid that one. And allegedly, the path I'm looking for is the second one. So we'll see you when we get to that. Just gone through the second uh, gate um, that we came to on that lane, which I'm uh, reliably informed is the right one to go up the hill rather than just around it. So we're heading along this path here. A little bit of a rocky outcrop there. And uh, you know, the incline is starting to increase a little bit. Nothing spectacular though. But like I say, it's just a nice easy walk this. So we'll see you towards the top or if anything gets interesting. Hey, look at this, proper rock. I was expecting grass. Yeah. Come on, them bugalugs. So, I've come to the intersection of the paths, and this is the one we'll be taking uh, heading towards the summit and up to the woods further on. Further on. Uh, there is another path, but this just goes around uh, the fell. Views from here are quite nice, you know, especially towards Patterdale and what have you. You know, very rugged. And uh, yeah, it's a shame it's not a nice evening. But there you go. So, I just thought we'd uh, do a quick uh, scan of these ferns that are just starting to, uh, to pop out. Beautiful there. Yee. Little ferns everywhere. And a dog rolling about like an idiot. Hey, hey. Come on in, buglugs. So, we haven't come too far uh, from when last I talked to you. Um, up quite a steep bank. And uh, I've come to a place where there's a lot of wind battered trees. Let's get a bit of wind on here. And to be quite honest, I think we're just starting to um, emerge into the wind here. So, yeah, so, but down in that hollow, there's another tree that looks pretty much like that one, well battered. Um, but so far, Actually, the walk, the, the path is quite steep, you know, so expect a little bit of perspiration. But apart from that, it's easy underfoot. Uh, so, yeah, so, so far, so good. So, we'll probably see you at the summit or just before the summit when we gone through the trees. Um, and we'll see if there's anything interesting on the way. I'm starting to get up a little bit. Um, but yeah, no problems so far. Scout's enjoying it, aren't you, kidder? Yay! Yay, I can roll about in grass. Crazy dog. But view-wise, they're really starting to open up now. Fairfield in the distance there. No, sorry, Helvellyn in the distance there. Uh, it's a beautiful, it's a lovely sight of Paradale.
Fairfield, yeah, Helvellyn. Fairfield is in the distance there, as you can see. Uh, St Sunday Pike is just, or St Sunday Crag, should I say, is just starting to poke its head above. Uh, uh, what do we call that again? Heartside, is it? Something like that, anyway. So yeah, very nice, isn't it? Just uh, oops, going through the woods. Looks to be many, many paths here. I'm just going to stick to this one. Uh, this is probably the most westernest uh, path, or westernmost path. And uh, it won't be long before we see the summit, to be honest. But doesn't this look weird? Like Merkwood. Uh, maybe a bit thinner than Workwood, but there you go. Not that I've been to Workwood, of course, because I've never been to Middle Earth. But, uh, yeah, nice wood. You know, it's just so wind blasted. It's uh, it's unreal. This wood, so wind blasted. In fact, the trees have a. Tolkien-esque look about them. You know, if, if, you, if you've ever seen any of his uh, artwork, and especially his trees. Yeah, that he draws. You know, they all look pretty wind blasted. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's a nice little wood. This actually, pretty nice. And some horses. <laughs> This as well, I didn't let you off the lead, didn't it, kid? Or ponies, anyway. Some white ponies. Lovely. I don't know if you can see them. Just in the distance there, by the trees. Come here. Probably them that's made the paths up here. Come on in, bugger lugs. Let's head for the summit. So far, it's not been a bad walk. I wouldn't say it's exciting or anything, but I have to say the uh, the incline is actually a bit of a calf buster, to be honest. Yeah, so if you do come up here, be prepared for that, because like I say, I wasn't really prepared for it, to be honest. But there you go. Um, but yeah, it's a good walk, nice little walk, so hopefully we'll come to the summit shortly and uh, can't be there, nobody can hear by the looks of it, won't be getting any higher anyway. Right, a little bit peaty at the top here. <coughs>
these ways to Graysdale and uh, Lancaster of course I'm not sure you'll be able to hear this with the wind up here at the moment and this camera isn't particularly good at the wind so and uh, looking over the distance there side of course we've got to Patterdale and all the well-known mountains there yeah, it's very nice it didn't take very long maybe half an hour or something like that and uh, we'll probably just be <laughs> Even though it's May, what we'll probably do is we'll head down to those woods where there was less wind and have some tea, and then back to the car and back home. So yeah, nice little walk, nice place to walk the dog. And, uh, that's it from uh, Great Melfell. Nice short.